Guys, welcome to another video. You've got Mr. Everything English and it is that time. GCSE predictions 2025. Let's begin. Everything education. Tuition for maths, English and science. Now guys, this year the GCSE predictions have been crazy. I've had thousands of students messaging me, I've had parents messaging me and I've had teachers from schools messaging me asking me for my predictions. Guys, I'm scared to release this video. This video seems like an announcement video rather than a prediction video. Now, yes, I was right last year. I predicted the entire paper and the year before that I was right for some questions. But guys, Remember, 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 a prediction is just an educated guess. Do not be misled by anyone's predictions, including mine. If you notice, guys, I don't really release a thousand prediction videos. I don't say, here's my Macbeth prediction video. Here's my Romeo and Juliet prediction video. I like to make content that is beneficial for you guys, not content that's going to get me loads and loads of views. Now, believe it or not, guys, this year I was contemplating not releasing my prediction video because the pressure is so much. You guys are waiting for me like I'm the witches from Macbeth and I've got the prophecies. But I've left it late on purpose. Today is Saturday. We are one week and one day out from your GCSE exams. I think for me to release the prediction video at this point is okay. The reason I never released the prediction video earlier is because if I released it earlier, there are some of you who will completely listen to everything I say and you will only revise based upon my predictions. And if I'm wrong, then you are in some mad poop for your exam and I cannot do that to you guys. So because we are a week out, I am now on the assumption that the bulk of your revision is done. We have one week left. So now I can give you my predictions safely knowing that if I'm right, fantastic. And if I'm wrong, it's not going to be much of it. Should you ever require tuition, lessons, classes for English, maths or science, do head over to everythingeducation.co.uk. All of our English classes are taught by myself, Mr. Everything English, and our science and maths classes are taught by fully qualified teachers. Upon joining, you get access to our student portal. This is where you hand in your homework, receive your feedback, and you can chat to your teachers, including myself. So guys, should you require any support with your English, maths, or science for any exam board, do head over to everythingeducation.co.uk or click the link in the description. Now guys, how do I come to my conclusions? How do I arrive to my predictions? So here is what I do. I sit down and I go through all of the past papers from 2017 all the way up until now. And I literally write down every single question that's possibly come up. And I look for trends and I look for patterns and then I make my educated guess. Now, last year, I was correct. This year, let's see what happens. Guys, I have an app. I have an app, Everything Education. There is an app in the App Store and an app in the Play Store. So if you click the link in the description, do go and download the app. The app has almost 15,000 questions and it is updated weekly. I believe it's on the verge of becoming one of the best apps for your learning. It covers everything for English, everything for maths and everything for science. So guys, do head over to the App Store or the Play Store and do download the Everything Education app. Now, Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth. 2017, it was Macbeth and Ambition. 2018, it was Macbeth and Banquo. 2019, Macbeth, then Lady Macbeth, then Macbeth and Lady Macbeth, then Macbeth, Macbeth, Lady Macbeth. Do you notice a trend? Now, if I am predicting Macbeth, I have two predictions for each of the texts. My first prediction for Macbeth is that we are due a double character. 
We had Macbeth and Banquo in 2018. Then we had Macbeth and Lady Macbeth in 2021. We have not had a double character for one, two, three years in a row. So I am predicting a double character. And if you get a double character, who are the doubles that are left? Macbeth and Banquo are gone. Macbeth and Lady Macbeth are gone. So I'm predicting, I'm hoping, I'm praying that you get Macbeth and the witches. And a question like, explore the influence the witches have over Macbeth. Now, if you get a single character, I'm predicting that Macbeth will be making an appearance by himself. Because you had Lady Macbeth last year, and if you look at trends, it's Macbeth, 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 Lady Macbeth, 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 Lady Macbeth. So if I'm going to pick a single character, it's going to be Macbeth. Now people are saying, sir, is it going to be kingship? Is it going to be guilt? Guys, yes, it could be kingship, it could be guilt, or it could be betrayal. Um, I would say these are the themes that are there when it comes to Macbeth. But do not worry so much about the theme. Revise the character, you will automatically revise the theme. And those are my predictions for Macbeth. Either Macbeth and the witches together, or you may get Macbeth and the theme linking it to maybe kingship or betrayal or guilt, because that's what everyone is saying. Now, guys, Romeo and Juliet, you had, I'm going to go from 2017 all the way down. You had aggressive male behavior theme. You have adults and young people theme. You had Romeo and Juliet and their relationship character. You had the effect of conflict theme. Juliet character, Romeo character, Juliet character, Juliet difficulties. That's what you've been having. Therefore, my people, my lovely people, what are my two predictions for Romeo and Juliet? If you get a character, I predict you're going to get Mr. Romeo. And if you get uh, a theme, I believe you are due a theme about gender. Something to do with gender is what I predict. So either the character of Romeo or the theme of gender. Now, A Christmas Carol, 2017, all the way down. You had Cratchit and the idea of poverty, Scrooge and fear, gross and had the ghost chain Scrooge, suffering of the poor, joy and happiness, isolation and iron, loneliness, the effect of greed, the lessons learned by Scrooge. And then we end up on 2025. Now, guys, I reckon if we're predicting 2025, you are going to get something to do with the supernatural. That's the kind of character slash theme. Character meaning the ghosts and the spirits and the ghost of Marley. Theme being the supernatural. And for the second question, I predict you will be getting a question about social class. The rich and the poor and something to do with that. Now, guys, when it comes to Jekyll and Hyde 2017, you had Jekyll and sympathy. Then you had mystery and tension. Then you had Hyde. Then you had good and evil. Then you had the setting. Then you had Jekyll being mysterious. Then you had Hyde. Then you had atmosphere. If I am predicting a character. This is a tricky one, guys. I sat on this one for a long time. Something in my stomach, deep in my stomach, I don't know why, is telling me maybe Utterson is due. But my prediction is for Jekyll. My prediction is for Jekyll and the idea of how Jekyll changes. But something in my stomach tells me Utterson may make a sneaky appearance. And when it comes to a theme, guys, I reckon you might get the theme of duality um, of man. Now, guys, an inspector calls. You've had from 2017. I'll go character theme, character theme, because inspector calls is double characters. You've had Mrs. Burling and society. You've had Eric and social class. You've had Sheila and selfishness. You've had Mr. Burling and male irresponsibility. Gerald and society. Eric and inequality. Inspector linked to the elders and youngers and women. Mrs. Burling and social change via the inspector. So, my lovelies, if I'm predicting this year's paper, my mind is saying we're going to get Mr. Burling. I reckon, guys, we're going to get Mr. Burling. I think we're due Mr. Burling as a character, and I do think he will be coming up. Because we had Inspector, we had Mrs. Burling, we had Eric, we had Gerald. Inspector and my backup is Sheila. And when it comes to a theme, guys, I reckon you're going to get a theme, something around the idea of gender. Then the poetry, guys. Poetry. 
Bayonet Charge, Ozzy Mandius, War Photographer, Remains, London, Bayonet Charge, My Last Duchess, Kamikaze, and my prediction for this year is exposure or checking out my history. That is why that is what I am predicting for this year's exam. And then you had love and relationships. You had mother in the distance, sing song, winter swans, walking away, farmer's bride, sonnet 29, before you were mine, neutral tones. And for this year, guys, I am predicting climbing my grandfather or when we two parted. And those are my official predictions for GCSEs 2025. I could be right, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, it's because AQA, I know you are sitting there watching this video. I know that for a fact, by the way, I guarantee you. AQA, I know you're sitting there watching this video. If guys, you open the paper and I'm wrong, it's because AQA changed the paper. That's a joke, guys, that's a joke, that's a joke. But remember, 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 a prediction is an educated guess. Yes, I have been right in the past, but I have also been wrong in the past. Take my prediction as a pinch of salt. Now, what I need you guys to focus on is the following. Next week, Tuesday, next week, Wednesday, next week, Thursday, next week, Friday, and next week, Sunday. Guys, I am dropping some bangers of videos. Those videos, you need to watch them because I promise you will smash your GCSEs with those videos. Tuesday, we are doing Macbeth. Wednesday, we are doing Romeo and Juliet. Thursday, we are doing Christmas Carol. And Friday, we are doing Jekyll and Hyde. And Sunday, we're gonna go over the entire English literature paper. Guys, in those videos, for those texts, I'm gonna give you brand new 2025 pre-planned essays with analysis, with grade nine answers, everything in those videos. That's the content you need for me. I make so much content. Don't take this as the most important video. Take all of that as the most important content. All right, guys, I hope you found this video beneficial. I hope you find my public announcement beneficial. As always, it's been Mr. Everything English. Peace.